So just spotted here at Tax, the Flux 2 Smart. Now, if you're thinking what I'm thinking, whenever the word flux comes up, I get a bit of a chill down my spine. In fact, I get two, three chills down my spine for the flux. My history with the flux hasn't been smooth sailing, but look, with the retooled version of the flux one that I have now in the Llama Lab, I've been unable to break it. So I was surprised to actually see the flux two here. We haven't heard a lot of it. I'll link below to DC Rainmaker's article on this, which will cover the tech specs top to bottom of the Flux 2 Smart. But what we're seeing here, just in general, a few of the issues addressed of the Flux 1, that is more clearance for longer cage derailers, because that was an issue of the Flux 1. It was a little too high in the feet. So they've lowered the feet. The braking resistance or the brake force has been greatly improved. The Flux 1, we had to change it to a lower gear to get uh, erg mode to behave, which wasn't too much of an issue, but they have addressed that with stronger internals. And they also tell me just a little bit more, uh, I guess, tweaking and alignment Maybe they're going to on what's now. called the uh, the Llama Lab or the Llama Bench they actually have created at TAX because of yours truly having some uh, unfortunate events with some early versions of the Flux. So the Flux, too smart. Everything the Flux one was, but I guess a little bit more. Stay tuned for the Llama Lab test of this trainer when I'm able to get a hold of one. And uh, links below to DC Runmaker's full top to bottom. As we love, he's full in depth full details, and he'll cover the pricing too. Okay, I'm getting quite dizzy now, so thanks for watching. We'll be back with more from Eurobike 2018. This has just been day one. We've got day, I've lost count of the days. Thanks for watching. <laughs>